What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Spain and we're gonna run some trails, but I have something special. I got the Tecton X2 and a half by Jim Walmsley. So Hoka only gave a hundred of these, of these out. The Tecton X3 is gonna be out later in the year. So this is gonna be my first reaction for you guys. And for those who are new to the channel, my name is Hella, Hella Good. I've been running every day since May 15, 2017. Ran across the country, LA to New York City. I've done a few hundred mile races and some marathon. And now, look at this view. Views on views. So this shoe is a quick brief, real quick, right? For the first time, Hoka put a Piba foam on a trail shoe. So this is a, a super trail shoe. We're talking about dual Piba with the, the parallel carbon plates along the side. So the carbon plates are smushed in between the dual Piba foam. So one layer on the top, with the carbon parallel carbon place and a second layer on the bottom with these grippy vibram. So let's see, the cool thing also about these shoes that I uh, saw initially is they have the gator, you know? So you don't have to worry about any rocks or anything coming into your shoes. It's interesting, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but it looks really big. The bottom is so wide, it has a wider base and it feels nice. I always say marshmallow with Piba foam. Thank you, Hoka, you've been so late to the Piba foam game, but let's see, look at this. Marshmallow, especially the first layer. Let's do this, let's put this baby on and get straight to it on the trail, baby. Let's get it, let's go. Uh, I will say, this is very difficult to put on. So that's the con right there, immediately. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay, we got the left one on. Maybe there's a secret way to put this on, guys. But right now, this is a fight. Come on. I'm brave fighting with this. Voila. There you go. Okay. I'm out of breath. I feel like I just ran a marathon putting this on. I will say though, if we look at this, it feels so good on my feet. This feels really good on my feet. I feel like, feel like Batman right now, I feel cool. We got all black on. Wow, first initial, get stepping on it, you immediately feel that Piva foam. The older Tecton X had the parallel plate, but didn't have Piva foam, now we have that. Okay, the first reaction of these shoes is Mwah! Chef's kiss. Mwah! Oh my goodness. This thing is beautiful. Okay, Tecton X1, the first one was my favorite. Wasn't a fan of the upper of the second one. And now this one takes all the box. Wow. Okay, we gotta show you guys some, some feet. On a push-up, you feel the, the foam being so soft, but because I think because of the carbon plate, it gives it a, that little firmness that you need. So you're not just getting plush to the ground without any push, just like any super shoes for road running. And they really did well to bring this to the trails. I still have the same security for my ankle with the parallel plates, with a little more of a bounce and a little more of Softness. I'll give you guys my opinion after the run. Uh, I just came from the the trails with this, but this shoe is also designed from road to trail, trail to road. So you should be able to run on the road, especially when you have like trail races that transition. You got to run across the street or get on the road for a little bit before you get back to the trailhead. So I'm gonna see how that really feels now with the Piba foam because Piba foam are really awesome on regular roads. So we sh it should work, but um, this was done for the trails too. So we're about to get this run in and so far so good. I just switched my shirt because I was sweaty being on a trail for a little bit. And uh, let's send it and I'll let you guys know what I think in the end. 
This is a quick little review on these shoes. I don't even think it's gonna be available to be bought anymore because Hoka only gave away 100 at Western State. But the Tecton X3 will be out, which will be based off of this pretty much technically. Let's do it. baby <laughs> yeah. these shoes on the road they're nice they're nice it's a nice transition from trail to the road it's good grapey on the trail grapey on the road obviously and that bounce that piva foam that's why I think now it's the perfect combination trail to road with that dampness that absorption but with that plate to kick you forward so just like that I'm done with my initial review with these shoes this is very short it's not a long-term review so it's just from my short experience on the trail and transitioning it into the roads and I will say I give these shoes a nine and a half out of ten. Uh, the reason is because putting it on is very difficult. Uh, it does have the that uh, gaiter, which is really cool. It's like one with my socks. If you look at it, it literally looks like it's part of my socks. You know, it's a nice tight. Just lost you guys for a second. My camera fell down because of the wind, but uh, it's nice with the socks. A very big, the very big con is taking it off is easy, but putting it on. Unless I need to learn how to find an efficient way, it's really tough to put it on. I will say that is the only kind I can see. And I love these laces lists, like these kind of laces. Like you just pull it, tighten it up, and squeeze this thing up, and it's perfect. Very light, very stretchy, very comfortable, very bouncy. I think it's a shoe that connects well with the trail. So it, it looks like a high stack. It is a five millimeter drop, I believe. But when you land on a rock, it like it's like a marshmallow. It's eating up the rock, but it's not staying synced in. It will launch you off the rock, and when you feel that carbon plate underneath that foam, it launches you off in a firm and steady way where your ankle dome bu doesn't buckle inward or outward. It feels like you're secure, like the first Texan, with a better upper and a better foam. So I think it's a nice hit out of the park. The sad thing is though, they only had 100 of these, and this is the one I got. So I'm gonna baby these as much as I can because I'm gonna save them because I'm racing UTMB and I'm also uh, the OCC, but I'm also doing the Havelina 100 for those who are watching this video. So this is gonna be like this for a while. I won't be running with it a lot because I want to preserve these. And then once the three comes out, the Texan X3, then I'll use that more. But I think that one's gonna have a slight iteration. They're gonna change that up a little bit tiny uh, to be on sale because the Texan two is out, the two and a half is. This is the shoe that Jim wants the one UTMB with with a little twist, I think. I don't think it's the exact prototype, but thank you so much guys for coming. Uh, sadly, it's not for sale, but I, if you don't see me talk about any Hoka shoes, it's because I'm not a fan of it. But if you see me do a review, it's not all positive, but it's because I enjoy a little more than I thought. And that's what it is at the end of the day. I'm not required to do any of these reviews. It's just on my own. Yes, Hoka does sponsor me. They don't even know I'm doing this and I don't like putting it on. Putting it on is awful and I will say that. And I think there should be a better way of doing it. But first world problem you know okay this is hell in the future back in the united states now running in spain for the tecton two and a half review because i got the three with me um my biggest con with the two and a half it was impossible to put that on virtually impossible it was just difficult and i would be struggling jumping back and forth trying to put that on and then i just put on the three y'all it was butter it was easy and then slipping it off is so easy so i'm pretty sure they realized there's something wrong with the putting it on and they changed it but i did realize also the base on this is much narrower so the when i put on the two and a half it feels like it has a wider stance this is narrow and even putting the shoes next to each other you can tell the base can you guys see how much wider this is on the gym two and a half and then you can see how much more narrow this one is and i felt that by putting these shoes on i haven't run in this yet but by just putting it on even the foam feeling I felt like when I put this on, this foam felt like it was plush, like marshmallow. You know, I like to say that when it's soft. And then the one thing I would change in the three before even running in it, I would like this kind of lacing. See that? Just pull tight instead of a regular lace. But I also did realize these, this material here feels a lot more softer and gentle 
over here is similar, but here's that butt. That makes me nervous though, because if it's the last soft and gentle, will this overstretch over time? Because this felt like it's never gonna get too, too stretchy and not snug your ankle area for like the gator like thing. Also, the feeling of the foam, even though they're both Piva foam, I feel like the Piva is molded differently slightly with the two and a half than the three. This is what's gonna be sell and sell for everybody. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I have this one already, but watch how I slip this on, okay? And I don't know, the other one, see, right here, okay? Put it here, boom, on. Look at that, easy. Watch how I slip it off. What? Watch how I put it on again. Okay, flip, ready? On. I was fighting. I was fighting with the two and a half. Big improvement there. All right, see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more. Let's get it. Let's go.